I wanted to, to ask you, I mean, you guys kind of came in in similar situations where a previous coaching staff had recruited you. Kind of talk about that, Luke. I know for you, now correct me if I'm wrong, when you had already verbally committed under the, the, the old staff and then the coaching staff changed. And I know Coach English was still around, but was that hard for you when you found out the – at least the head coach that you know wasn't you know Coach Lynn wasn't going to be here, and then the change. And I mean, what went through your mind, and was there any doubt that you were not you, that maybe you wouldn't come to Wyoming? Well, you know what? Not really. Uh, as soon as the uh, as soon as the administration changed, uh, I was one of them, like that instantly got the letter. You know, like here's your stuff. You still have scholarship with us. Uh, Christensen called me, uh, came and met with me at my high school, and so it was it was pretty set, and it was really nice that. The one guy that stayed on the staff, um, Coach English, mm -hmm. now at CSU, was still able to be through that transition with me. Right. So it was, it was easy. When Coach Christensen came down to met you at your high school, what did you think of that? I mean, did it seem, not that the coaches aren't genuine, but I mean, that's, it's a coaching change. You've got, you know, was it, what was that, what was that first initial meeting like? It was, it was definitely interesting because, you know, uh, being only 18 years old, you get intimidated a little bit. And so uh, it was, I mean, it was interesting. Mm -hmm. It was good. Like, it was fine. I never was uh, questioning it. You know, mm -hmm. uh, he he has, he's excited. It's cool to go into a new coaching staff because they're going to advocate change. Mm -hmm. So that's what was exciting. All right. Well, Nick, for you, you were a gray shirt recruit from the old staff, so you went on scholarship in January of your freshman year. So basically, you were recruited by a former staff, the former staff. So. What went through your mind when you found out, you know, Coach Glenn and most of the staff were going, and you're sitting there? Well, they said I got a scholarship in January, but then you never know. Was there a lot of was there a lot of doubt? What, what was what was it like for you? Yeah, there was a there was a little bit of tension, to say the least, of whether it'd be honored or not. Um, thankfully, they did. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I was happy to be here. It was, um, it was strange. It was a little funny that I uh, was actually talking to Pete Calgus when he was at Montana. Uh, recruiting, and he was all full, and he said I'd, he'd be, I'd be happy to walk on. And, um, had a little bond with him, and then uh, he ended up coming to Wyoming anyways. Uh, so that that wasn't nearly as awkward or maybe as weird as it could have been since you already kind of knew Coach Caligas then. Yeah, I had a, a brief introduction, so mm -hmm. um, that was helpful. Uh, you know, one of those things people always say, never burn bridges. So, right. Um, that was one of the things that was pretty helpful with staff coming in. Right. And now fast forward to today where you guys are team captains. You guys are all preseason all conference. You were second team all conference last year. You know, has this gone about as this this process gone about as well as you could have hoped or what's this what's this whole thing been like as we get into as you guys get in ready for your last season? Um yeah, you know, it's a, obviously there's there's always bumps in the road, but you know, this is by my current position, Luke and I's current position, um we're in a good place right now, mm -hmm. and uh, we're just hoping that we can do a good job leading this team, um, just like seniors in the past. What about you, for you, Luke? I mean, what's it? I mean, it's you know, I know we've had you talked about this before. Is it? Do you think you'd be here where you're at now? You're like an all-conference player last year, preseason again. You know, teams coming off a bowl game. You're picked fourth out of, in a in a ten-team league. You know, what's what's that like right now? Or do you really pay much attention to that? Well, you know, I'm first off, I'm very blessed at what I have. You know, uh, if someone could told me that like, this is how it's going to be, I would never would have said, like, I would have been like, come on, man, like, let's stop joking. <laughs> and so it's definitely interesting, but I've been blessed, and it's cool, you know. Uh, Nick and I are going to continue to work, as, like he said, as the, pri as the previous seniors did. Uh, they were phenomenal leaders, and we're going to continue to try to follow in that, you know, follow in the same footsteps of the Bryans and the Gabes and, you know, those guys. And so I'm just excited. All right. Picked fourth in the preseason poll. Do you guys take – do you guys pay much attention to that? Do you think that's good, that's bad, that's indifferent, or do you even bother with it? Well, uh, I mean, we, you sh we don't look at it. That's that's the media stuff. You know, uh -huh. we're going to go one game at a time, uh, and so the first game is Texas, and that's what we're going to be focused on. All right. You know – did you, was there even when the new staff came on board and you were you know you guys knew you had scholarships and everything? Was there any doubt? Because again, I know like you said, Luke, Coach English was the one that recruited you, so he was still there. But getting to know a new staff and new way of doing things, you know, everyone had to go through that. But w was it hard, especially since you guys had just got here and and stuff like that? Was was that really a hard thing, or or, or was it hard? I uh, I think the seniors that year did a really good job. Um, I recall talking to them. And uh, they basically made a decision as a, as a collective whole. Says, hey, we can we can sit here and we can fight these guys. 
um, Warwick Muslim up there saying buy in. And uh, they, they bought in, obviously you saw some success right out the gate. Um, and it's that sort of level of maturity that I think uh, mm -hmm. sort of set the path and the tone for the, uh, the Christians in there at point on. All right. Obviously you guys are coming off a successful season last year, but as captains, do you kind of say the same sort of thing? Not that you know we're gonna, you know, we need to fight our coaches, but I mean, you know what you guys have done. You've accomplished some good things in the past. Also gone through some tough times. Do you, you know, does that a, a similar message you tell this team, whether they're seniors or even younger guys? Do you send them a similar message this year? Yeah, uh, I think you can. It's uh, each team, each year. Uh, a lot of people don't realize it doesn't really matter how many people you return. You can graduate four guys or 14. Um, you still have to build a team from the ground up each year. No team's the same. Um, and you do need to sort of keep yourself and your teammates in check because um, you might. We won eight games, but if you really look at the margin of victory, it's a couple plays here or there. Mm -hmm. And you could have four wins or three wins. And uh, keeping yourself in check and still obviously buying into what the coaches are saying um, because yeah, they, they are the minds that put the game plan together. They they don't do things just for their health around here. Mm -hmm. they, they have an operating system and they're professional in what they do. Gotcha. All right, guys.